All right, here we have a 2011 Ford F-250 double cab short box XL. This is a 6.7 power stroke diesel with 123,000 miles on it. It has a nice four inch lift uh, with 33s and some nice aluminum wheels. This is a one owner truck. It was owned by a fire department and uh, it was pretty well taken care of. So we'll go around the truck here, and uh, they're really nice trucks, these 6.7s. They run good. They run for a long time as long as you take care of them. Uh, that's why we sell them. You know, there's a lot of stuff we won't sell just because it's not super reliable. Uh, this is a nice truck. As you can see, you know, there's a scratch down the side there. Um, kind of what you'd expect for being a... A fire department truck so this was a fire chief truck um, you can still see you know kind of the remnants of the the sticker on the passenger side in the back window um, the sticker is all gone but you know the shadow left by it is still there so uh, super nice truck super well taken care of um, and it runs and drives beautifully so we'll hop in here and uh, because it's an XL you can see it is manual seats you do get power windows power locks power mirrors um, they are manual fold and manual extend so no power fold no power extend there we'll hop in here and you can see 123,000 miles so we'll start this up Sounds like a healthy diesel. So we'll just kind of go through everything here. Here you've got your cruise controls, cancel, resume, on, off, and set your speed. This setup info and reset, that's for your display up here. So you can change what exactly you're looking at there. Your headlights, you just got on and off. This doesn't have fog lights. Uh, if it did, you'd pull this out, that's where they'd be. This is your uh, dimmer switch for your gauge cluster up top. This is a manual tilt column and manual telescope. So you just flip that down and that's how you do that. Obviously you got your uh, blinkers and uh, windshield washer fluid there you got tow haul mode with uh, a shift limiter so you can choose up to what gear this truck will go into um, you know if you're hauling you're going uphill and it's trying to shift between gears you can just bring this down a gear say you know it's shifting between fourth and fifth and uh, you just want to stay in fourth you just press down on this till it lights up I'll show you here so you put it in drive and you can bring it down so that'll keep it in fourth it won't go any higher than fourth gear so and I'm just pressing that plus and minus on the stick there so that's what that does you can also put it in manual mode and obviously you can't take off in higher than third gear but I'm just press the plus sign to get rid of that there is no reverse camera on this as it is an XL um, does have AM FM CD uh, I don't know yeah I don't think you can hook your phone up to this one um, usually you have to have the, the steering wheel controls to give it the voice commands shift on the fly four wheel drive two high four high four low and electronic locking rear end so and you can see that does engage you got a 12 volt outlet here you got an integrated trailer brake controller with adjustable gain, 12 volt outlet here, traction control, uh, your standard AC, you know, on off, hot, cold, it does blow nice and cold, uh, we make sure everything does, if it doesn't, we get it addressed. You got your airbag switch down there, along with a cup holder, 
these cup holders are usually pretty common, especially when you get the center row jump seat. Speaking of which, here it is. So you got a little center console up here with a couple of cup holders. And then if you're running with a big group of people, uh, it folds up to another seat. So that is really handy. Up here you got your sunglasses holders, pretty common pretty standard on just about everything you can see there's no wires coming down from the headliner there so that's just your basic mirror um, it doesn't auto dim it doesn't have a back camera nothing like that auxiliary line in and that's just your standard auxiliary jack headliner is in perfect condition it is absolutely beautiful um, yeah Let's take a look at the back here. Just leave this running. Pop that hood so you guys can see that here in a minute. So, these are awesome trucks. They're awesome work trucks. Um, you know, the 6.7s make plenty of power. They make good torque. And they're super reliable as long as you're taking care of them. Um, you know, maintenance costs with a diesel are a little bit more, and that's just a given. But... They pay off in the long run if you're looking for something that'll run forever and be a workhorse. So, nice clean door panels. Um, no heavy stains in the seats. You know, nothing super major. No tears. So, you get nice storage under here. Um, it's not like the next body style where it's completely flat and you get all the under seat storage. They do have a hump in these in these ones, and that's just something, you know, you can't get around in this body style. Um, the backs of these ones do flip down. Ugh, hard to do with one hand there. And uh, your tire iron's back there, and your jack's on the other side down there. So you also have uh, child seat anchors in the back of the cab there as well. Here we go. Yeah. Go around to the back. These have got nice center line wheels. Uh, actually, no, those aren't center lines. My mistake. Those are ultra wheels. Um, but they are nice. Nice aluminum. They look really good on the truck. It is currently sitting on 33 inch tires. Um, in my opinion, they look a little small. Um, I'd probably put 35s on it if it was me. But the tires on it are, are decent enough. We're not going to worry about that somebody wants to do it they are of course more than welcome to when they buy the truck so nice clean door panels all the way around and uh yeah there's a little nick there we'll get that fixed we got a a nice upholstery guy he does phenomenal work um uh, yeah so not a whole lot of undersea storage there's a little bit let's see if you can see that all the way across there's probably you know six inches from the vinyl to the bottom of the seat so enough to, to put some stuff back there and then there's your jack it sits behind this passenger side seat um, as you can see like there's no map pockets or anything like that it is a pretty you know work oriented truck especially with the the vinyl flooring which let me tell you is super easy to clean um, as, as far as, you know, cleaning these trucks out, these are my favorite floors because you spray them down and you get a, you know, semi-soft bristle brush, you scrub them, you wipe them, they come out looking beautiful. Um, you know, there's only been one or two that I have found that were just super, super hammered. And you can tell because, like, these will all be worn down, it'll be flat, there'll be a hole. Um, and those are the trucks that you see with, you know, 400,000 miles on it where a guy's just been sitting in it for 20 years you know obviously not 20 years because this truck isn't that old but you get the gist you got the booklet in there along with the spare tire lock key and uh, the wheel lock key that's all in there in the little cubby and uh, yeah that's you know pretty much the whole interior not a whole lot to it, um, which, you know, if you're going to be putting guys in it for work and you don't really want all 
all that fancy leather and everything else, all the electronics, you don't need it. So, 2011 6.7, it's got EGR is still there, um, truck still runs good, you know, a lot of guys delete them, um, and you know, they do run better after you delete them. Sometimes it's not necessary. I've seen trucks with, you know, 450,000 miles on them, owned by an older guy, had it serviced at the dealership its whole life, and, you know, they still had the EGR and the DPF still in it, and they still ran good. It all depends, you know, maintenance is key. You feel it start slugging down? Well, it's time to delete it. So, yeah. Branch arrow, steering shock absorbers, nice and clean under there. You can see the DPF is still on it, but there's no leaks, no oil spots. You know, it is a, a very clean truck. Um, and, you know, it's a perfect work truck for somebody who's looking to, to make it last a long time and take care of it. So um, that's what I got for you on this one. Come see us up here in North Idaho, uh, over here in Athol. Give our website a visit at www.familymotorcoidaho.com. Uh, all our prices are on there. I don't list prices in the videos because they are subject to change. I see a lot of comments, you know, list the price, say the price of the vehicle in the video. The price, prices change. If you want the price, go ahead and visit our website. Find us on Car Gurus. Um, you know, those are the best two ways to do it. It's Family Motor Co. So, that's all I have for you on this one. Uh, one owner, 123,000, 6.7 diesel.